published 0745s, the 10th of November 2017 updated 0026s, the 11th of November 2017 Prince William says Prince George was very envious that he got to drive a digger while visiting the site of a new rehabilitation center for the military. The royal, 35, revealed his young son's fondness of diggers during a gala dinner on Thursday night. Describing his visit to the site of the new Defense National Rehabilitation Center DNRC, he said I was present at the end of 2014 when the first building was demolished to make way for the new construction. George was very envious as I got to drive a digger. Prince William, 35, has revealed that George was very envious that he got to drive a digger during a site visit to a military rehabilitation center. It appears that George's love of diggers began young, as he would have only been one at the time. The young royal, now four, is already known for his love of helicopters, after being given a special tour of one during a visit to Germany earlier this year. William joined hundreds of guests at a fundraising black tie gala organized by the City Veterans Network at the Imperial War Museum in London on Thursday night. He spoke about the new rehabilitation center for injured military personnel based at Stanford Hall, near Loughborough, which is due to open next year. It seems that Prince George fondness for diggers would have begun young, as he would have been one at the time describing the centre during a pre-dinner speech. William, who is a patron of the £300 million initiative, said I have been repeatedly impressed by both the speed and the ambitious scale of this endeavour. The DNRC, funded by charitable donations, was a project launched by the late Duke of Westminster. Speaking about the contribution of the Duke, who was a close friend of the royal family, William said in his closing days as a senior reservist, he saw the terrible price paid by some of the men and women of our armed forces when injured serving the nation. He wanted to ensure that these men and women received the very best clinical help to get them on their journey back into work and into life beyond injury. Gerald resolved to do something about it and in typical fashion, he launched this remarkable initiative himself. William, 35, had been talking about the new Defense National Rehabilitation Center at Stanford Hall, near Loughborough, which is due to open next year. George is already known for his love of helicopters, enjoying a special tour around one during a visit to Germany earlier this year with a personal gift of £50 million. He made the first step towards building what will become a 21st century version of Headley Court. Stanford Hall was chosen for its central location, size, rural setting and proximity to the Royal Centre for Defence Medicine at the new Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham, where wounded members of the armed forces are treated prior to clinical rehabilitation. Under a spitfire suspended from the ceiling, William told guests how a key vision of the DNRC is about getting those who suffered life-changing injuries back into work, and restoring their sense of independence. He also revealed how the DNRC will also treat civilians who have similar levels of injury, adding that no such equivalent currently exists in the country. William previously drove a digger during a visit to the JCB headquarters back in 2009. William thanked the City Veterans Network, which was formed in 2014 to unite servicemen and women across the city and financial sector and raise funds for service charities. With donations from the gala going to the DNRC, in backing the DNRC this evening, you are playing your part in contributing to the creation of a world-class facility, the very least that our veterans and those still serving deserve, he said. You are playing a vital part in the creation of a national legacy. Your support will benefit the country for decades to come. This was the late Duke of Westminster's ultimate goal, and with your help together we can make it a reality.